we are. That's going in the calendar for piss poor gates and shops here. Good morning. Well, I apologies it's been so long, but you've forgotten what we look like. Uh, middle of January, I think, was the last uh, time we were out, and it has been awful. Today is the 1st of March, so I hope March behaves itself. February was do one. We had Storm Cara, Dennis. Last night we had Juna, some Spanish arsehole that came and ripped through. We've had floods that you wouldn't believe. If I can spoon a few pictures off the internet, I'll show you some shots of uh, Shrewsbury, uh, Budley, Iron Bridge, Bridge North, all along the River Severn has been absolutely devastated. And there's more to come because the last storm is about to feed back into the same rivers. So, we've all been miserable. We've been stuck in cancelling camps, cancelling walks, cancelling anything due to this weather. So today is the first chance we've had to get out in literally a month and a half. So it's not going to be our usual little short hike going down to our, our little secret bushcraft forest. Uh, got a few bits of kit, we'll get a fire going, got a nice bit of lunch and uh, Definitely just chill out and have a good old moan about everything, life in general. So uh, you probably won't get all that on the video. Anyway, so it'll be a different video. A lot of this shit, me waffling on, we've probably done enough on already. Uh, and a bit of campfire cooking and, uh, and a bit of that. So if you don't like it, don't forget to press the thumbs down button twice. Make it count. Uh, but if you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and, uh, and press the subscribe and ding that little bell. And hopefully, later in the month, we'll get there, back onto the Heart of Wales Line Trail, some wild camping, and uh, the spring will begin. Told you it was wet. There's the legend himself. It's like a caged animal, desperate to get out of here. So we were just saying, apart from uh, the wind's a bit strong, it's actually a lovely day. Okay, folks, we're here. You might recognize it, I've been here before. It's our little fire pit, the bench. I made that, told you that. And uh, yeah, it's definitely had a bit of a battering from Storm Dennis and Chiara, but there's loads of dead wood. Um, so we're just going to spend half an hour gathering up plenty of wood uh, and we'll have a nice good fire going and uh, this place will be like home then for a bit. Dave Outdoors is going to uh, do the fire, so I'm going to leave you with him, I think. I'm going to go and get some more wood, we need some bigger stuff to uh, Bushcrafters, we don't piss about rubbing sticks together here. No, we don't, do we? What are they? Are they um, hexy? Yeah. Things? Want some petrol, mate? I've got a litre. Yeah, might we need that?
Right, so I'm just going to uh, boil up some water. The first thing we're going to do is have a coffee. Hammocks up. They stay in the night. Uh, so I'm going to show you my old, old, old stove. I think we worked out it's about 20 years old. Uh, it's an MSR Whisper Light. I haven't used it in years. I've had it all in the sink and cleaned it out and sorted it out. It's a bit of an old relic. Um, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and, and not being funny, a lot of people don't know how to use them. I seem to get loads of flame flaring off them. So I'll show you how I use mine. If you've got one, you'll like this. So I might move you from the fire. <laughs> because it runs on petrol. Basically it's liquid fuel, it's petrol. But this has been uh, cleaned and filtered a bit more, but you can just use petrol from the garage if you're stuck, but you get a lot more soot. And uh, it's pumped in under pressure. So that's a bit cumbersome and obviously a lot heavier than modern bits of kit, but bomb proof. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put a bit of pressure in it just to start it off. We'll get it on there. Lighter. And the knack is, down in there you'll see a little cup and a wick and you turn the fuel on a tiny bit till that, you can hear it coming through and you'll see a little bit of fuel creep into there. Don't rush this because that's when you get a, a flare. You can hear it now. There's fuel in that cup now. Just coming through. And it needs a bit. Plenty. Probably too much in there. Turn it off. And then light that. And then wait. And the idea is that that little fuel line does a little circuit round and the heat vaporises the fuel. So you leave that off until the flame dies down and then you'll hear it jetting, sort of trying to trying to go. But leave it off right until and don't do this in the tent, I wouldn't advise. In the porch of a lamb sham. <laughs> you could be in a spot of bother. There you go, you can sort of start to hear it now. And just before it dies, turn it on very low. Okay, and you should get a blue flame. And that's basically it running. And then when it's going, Give it a few more pumps. And you can crank it up then. It's like a little rocket. And you can simmer on them, despite what people say. It's going to be very, it's like cracking a safe with this little wheel. You can turn that down and it'll just tick over. Right, we'll get some water on the go.
it's that hot, the actual base of it glows red. <laughs> yeah. and all, you get it hot enough there, all the soot that you got on there while it was uh, priming just all flakes and blows away. So. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're, the fire has been dealt with. Dave's wafted it with his plate. And it's now dinner time. So this might take a while. But we have some butter with a bit of garlic and some ash. That was free. That's going right. Let me look up a bit nearer to you. Just bought some foil there just in case we need it. We lose the coffee. This. Right. And here we have two half size rump steaks. Excuse fingers. And the steak. Yeah, that is hot, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> sizzling away in there. Nothing wrong with that. How do you like yours done, Dave? Are you a well medium done rare. man or a medium rare? Or as it comes? As it comes. <laughs> kind of bummed it all in at once. What we got in there? Two sirloin steaks, cooked in garlic butter with mushrooms and onions, and you've all steamed up. Sorry about that. Let that simmer down a little bit. Righty, that is hot. That fire was a bit nothing a while ago, and now it's not scared anywhere near yeah. it. We've got the water on with a coffee bag in it already. So that'll be uh, ready to wash down our lovely sirloin steaks. Let me hammock up over there. Mr. Roberts is there with a weatherproof tarp. This is a massive thing, it's four meters square this is. It's ideal, isn't it? So you just stand under this, if it lashes it. A little bit of yeah. kit. And look at the weather. Thank you, March. You're behaving yourself. Most impressed. Keep it up. Okay, dinner is served. Sirloin steak, garlic, onions and mushrooms. Coffee's on the go. Bit of cheese on top now, a bit of mayo. This is all good for my keto diet. Can you tell I'm on a diet? I'm breathing in. <laughs> Well, there's a new thing on there on Joss's group, Great Outdoors TV. Uh, hi, Joss. And it's called Chill Out Sundays. And the idea is that you hashtag um, something to do with the outdoors, but not necessarily a video, um, just photographs and whatever you're doing. So we've, uh, we've tagged a few photos this afternoon because that's exactly what we're doing. We are just chilling out. We've had our dinner. Uh, I've brewed a pot of coffee with a coffee bag in it and just let it bubble away on the fire. Got it in here, got a bit of double cream in it. Dave's chilling out in his hammock. Literally chilling out. <laughs> and uh, it's great, it really is. It's, it's, it's quite uplifting just to hang around in the woods and not do a lot. So highly recommend it. So yeah, if you, uh, if you get on well with a local farmer, ask him, just go and politely ask if you can use a little bit of spare woodland because this this is doing nothing other than it's a home for the pheasants during the season and uh, as long as you look after it and leave it as you found it if he says no ask another one but uh, we've done really well here but we think it was Stewie's idea as a chap that we know did exactly that and uh, very kindly showed us where we could use and we've got use of this for what we're doing with a fire. We can bring the hammocks, we can stay the night down here. 
nobody else is going to bother us, not going to get moved on. So that, that obviously helps make it more relaxing. So there's your, there's your Shropshire lads top tip, go and ask a farmer. Right, I shall finish my coffee and um, see you a bit later. Well, I'm in my hammock, swinging and chilling. And we were just saying, there's Mr. Roberts over there. And that's exactly what we're doing. Look at this weather. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's a blue sky. Might be better over there, away from the sun. And the birds are out. Obviously, they're grateful for a bit of decent weather. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're just sitting talking about everything and nothing and uh, chilling That was brilliant. I don't know what the time is now. We've been here half past two, so we've been here four hours. Four hours, yeah. Something like that. A nice little walk in. Weather's been kind. Had a few little haily showers, but nothing, uh, nothing major. And actually, the ground, considering what we've had, not bad at all. If you just go there, it's like a puddle down towards the street. But uh, where we've uh, dropped on. So yeah, hammocks are away. We're all packed up. We're all fed and uh, we're just going to have a little walk back and uh, head home and back to another boring week of work. But hey ho, that's life. So we'll uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, see you on the Heart of Wales Line Trail on the next one. Thank you. We were just saying, what's this strange object in the sky behind us? It's been noticeably absent for many weeks. Very welcome. Right, we're on the walk back now, so if I haven't already said ta -ra, I won't bore you with the route. It's been just what we needed. I've done a lot of hiking, but we've had a bit of fun, and uh, let's see, it's just nice to get out. And uh, we'll see you very soon. ta -ra. Yeah.